Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Budi speaking. I'm one of the consultants in reproductive medicine in London. Today, today I'm going to talk to you about how long do, should you give estrogen in a frozen embryo replacement cycle? Now, often we are asked how long do you give progesterone? But what we don't know is, is there any role of giving eight days, nine days, 10 days or 12 days of estrogen in a frozen embryo replacement cycle? Let us come to programmed frozen embryo replacement cycle. Now these have a certain advantage. And the advantage that we have is that programmed activity always is reasonably well predictable. Also what we know is the endometrial thickness can be measured in the follicular phase and you can decide of when to replace the embryo. We also know that if you prolong the follicular phase, if you give it for an extra day, an extra two days, it does not have any impact on pregnancy rates. The question asked is, what is the minimum amount of days that you should give estrogen therapy in a programmed frozen embryo replacement cycle. Now, this was a study which was done and presented in the ASRM. It was a study conducted from 2012 to 2016. More than 5,000 patients were studied. The minimum endometrium had to be seven millimeter to be included in this study. And there's a subgroup where when you saw follicle growing, you triggered ovulation with HCG and performed a modified natural cycle. The outcome was a fetal heart. Now, 202 patients, progesterone was initiated at eight days and less than eight days of estrogen therapy. The pregnancy rates of clinical pregnancy rates were 53.9%. This was significantly lower than the rest. If you transferred embryos when endometrial thickness was more than nine days, pregnancy rates in this study were higher at 62.4%. Also, it was noticed that if you trigger ovulation with a very short follicular phase of less than eight days, pregnancy rates also tended to drop, with clinical pregnancy rate at 49% versus 60% where the follicular phase was a bit longer. Thus, what do we conclude? We conclude that in a program cycle, the minimum days of estrogen should be at nine days. Do the results go low if they are less? Yes, probably there seems to be some indication that if you give fewer days of estrogen therapy or you shorten the follicular phase, results may be lower. Thank you very much. If you do like these lectures, then please subscribe to the YouTube page so that it can be shared across. And please do share and like this page. Thank you very much.